Welcome to Roll for Crit Expansions. I'm Jonathan Estes. And I'm Will Keeler. And this week, we're actually going to be talking about a game we haven't done a playback yet because we did the expansion in a live 24 or 12 hour, sorry, playback of, uh, for our ta International Tabletop Day. That's right. So normally, we reserve these for things we've already, for the when we've already talked about the base game. Right. We're jumping right into the expansion for this one. So, if you aren't familiar with the original Robinson Crusoe Adventure on the Cursed Island, we'll have a playback hopefully soon. Someday, yeah. somewhere, somehow. Uh, but essentially, that's a survival, cooperative, worker placement kind of game mm -hmm. that's heavily thematic from Portal Games. And this is the Voyage of the Beagle expansion, which comes from new designers, uh, and it's very, very different. And it's actually based on Dar Charles Darwin, and you're actually his team of explorers and researchers aboard his ship, the Beagle. <laughs> so, as you said, we played we played through this all in a row. Right, There's which we actually had the video up, so if you want to... It's almost as if we have a playback up for it. Right, so uh, un similar to the base game, there are five scenarios. Unlike the base game, you can actually play all five of them connected like a campaign. They're almost meant to be, I would argue. They, I would say they def certainly the first two... You, there is a way, they do have a way to play a yes, random one. Yes, however... They're really linked a, a lot. Um, I would say actually one, two, and five at the mo definitely. Yes, st yeah, for sure. Like you could pro like four, you could probably three and, and three. four, you could both do yes. kind of standalone. I guess one you could too, just by yeah. Itself. But <laughs> two, I guess two and five play on one. They're regard yes, they really are dependent on it. So uh, we well, we both loved Robinson Crusoe. I, th I mean, I we think both love, not loved. I think it. We do still we do. still we presently <laughs> love it? No, it's that's one of my favorite games. That's real. That was my. I still remember when we first when you first got it and we opened it. We're like, whoa! Yeah. You remember that the box, the, the excitement. Cool. The it does a it does a really good job. It's a very complex game with a lot of messy rules descriptions in the book, but for the theme, it's very very quality, and that's what I what I love about it. Um, and I think for the most part, we enjoyed this. Voyage of the Beagle as well. So. Uh, yeah, I definitely love some, uh, a good portion of it. There's a couple of issues I have it compared to mm -hmm. uh, the base, mm -hmm. let's say. Well, we should say because, yeah, I think I think basically there's a couple scenarios that we thought were very difficult, right? Um, well, <laughs> namely four and five. Yes, <laughs> and the last two. It's sort of funny because I'm gonna. Uh, yeah, walk us through it. Uh, scenario one was pretty much just collecting stuff. I, I, that easily could be its own thing in an own random scenario in Robinson Crusoe. Mm -hmm. We should mention, in the base, pretty much every scenario is not connected. Right. Before. Like, one's based on King Kong, one's like Indiana Jones, sort of. And they can vary pretty heavily between right. each other. And, and in this one, even more so, a couple of these felt like totally different games. Well, in particular, three, which I'll get to. Yeah. Uh, two based a lot on one, but really did feel still like a, a Robinson Crusoe expansion. Mm -hmm. Three is where it got completely different. I liked it a lot, though. And this is where I want to think interesting, where I think where my problems with four and five arrived. Mm -hmm. In well, the book. Yeah, well, are you talking about three still? Yes. Okay, good. Because, well, no, it said it in three. Because I want to, before we get to the four, yeah. talk a little bit well, about Well, the, um, <laughs> I guess there's preferences of three, and I... I want this to hold on to it for when we talk about 4 and 5. Yeah, yeah. It says, warning, this is a very random scenario. Right. <laughs> right, yeah. So the, they, they know what they're doing. And so hold on to that when we talk about Let's talk about 3. But three, uh, 3 is you're actually on a boat, and the map, which is normally represents an island, is the ocean. And you have to worry about the wind and which way your sails are turned. Rocks and, and making sure your steps your ship stays repaired enough to make it to the end. And for, I mean, I, I think it's just really cool... What they, how different they made it feel with what they had. Yeah, within the confines of this. No, engine. I, I loved scenario three, which is really funny because I said that phrase brought issues with four <laughs> or five. But I think because oh. to me, even though they said it was random, in which this will come later on, I felt we could deal with the randomness. Like we had breathing room to to change. Like I remember our initial plan was to take this one route, and right. every turn, almost <laughs> after the second one, I'd say every turn our route, our, our route in our mind changed. Yeah, we kept getting turned around and changed, and something happened that went wrong. But I think that's fine because we because the first route wasn't the basic route. We were trying to go like amazing five well, point I think, route. And I think the big difference, well, one of the big differences is that scenario gave you a lot of time 
to finish it. Mm -hmm. We still had three or four rounds, but when we ended And it, I would like to note that in this scenario, Jonathan, who's doing the hunting, because you get a crewman for a different crewman for each scenario, got a horse. Right. <laughs> <laughs> a horse who helped us fish a lot. <laughs> so a lot. you were just on top of the horse, just <laughs> reeling it in. And then we could we'll get let's get to four. Right. So And this is where Four I is, think we really hit, hit a wall. Four is you're on a, a, a tribal island and you're trying to talk to these tribes and get their secrets. And depending on the number of players, the number of tribes, we had four tribes to, to contend with. Right. And was it four? Yeah, it was yes. four. Each one wants a different type of resource. And what we discovered was that particularly fur, I think that was really, that's really the one that really tripped us up, is very difficult to get enough while keeping everything else balanced in the amount of time that they give you. Uh, and it, we, well, we lost twice in a row. <laughs> we didn't, we did, failed to actually successfully complete this, the last two scenarios. And it definitely is, I, is very, it was, I mean, it was not easy. We lost twice in a row. I don't know how unfair or unfair it is, or I think a lot of it is dependent on doing really well in the earlier scenarios. Here's the thing. I don't think the early game actually mattered because unlike two d relied a lot on one, three didn't rely on anything at all. And uh, I mean, you did set up, you were the one reading the setup, but from what I could tell, we got nothing depending on how we did in the early game except for maybe a couple more, two more sh extra shoals, I think they're called, it, to well, trade with. There is one thing. We would, yeah, we would have had I think it was three you could have had extra... No, we could have... Well, uh, but the... If you were did the best... According to the do. board, yeah. we could have up to five. Six. Oh, there were only five. There were only five spaces. <laughs> so you're right. You could have two universal items you could use to trade and with. Maybe, I agree. It's not a huge help. Maybe that's enough, but... Because to me, my problem was... And I think this came... I This is where I think my issue... Another issue throughout the this scenario came up mm. with... It seemed that playing with four people. We had to attend with four tribes right. who, odds are, are going to get disappointed. All of them disappointed, not one. In fact, one will move twice each turn. Yeah, there's a whole chart to keep track of the tribe's moods, and when they go down, bad things happen to you, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And the, yes, that even was if you haven't found them. And, so and that, I, that yeah. I think... We'll talk about five, and then I'll say why, why I think four and five are where I think the problem is set. Well, is. five is the one that we kind of, we like, didn't really get to experience, <laughs> I would say. We lost in turn, like, one. <laughs> yeah, it was like maybe maybe two. It was real bad. And then we were like, you know what, let's go back and do this and, like, restart, kind of. And we lost, still lost because of something else. And at that point, we've been playing this game because we tried to play it for, like, 12 hours straight, so we just kind of quit. It was on about that. three or four, I think. But there were a couple things that I, I did, I thought I would like about five, such as there was this beach section. No, yes, which is I like, like a mini game. The elements, play. but here's my issue with four and five, mm -hmm. where I think came down to it. Two things. One, I think the adjustment from uh, for four players put a lot on us. Because when we looked up how other people yeah. passed this, all the people we saw did it with really one or two people. Right. No one went in there with four. So in that part of me thinks maybe it's because four people is just so hard. I kind of agree, yeah. Second, and this one, I think this one applies more to five. Four, I think, just requires a perfect strategy to follow. If you don't do it, you're doomed, mm -hmm. which I don't like as much, but that's still, you know there's something. It's a puzzle yes. to solve. A really tough puzzle. The problem with five is because of the way it's set up, because you're all sick and you're already at morale minus three. Mm-hmm. In five, you get hit with sickness and you're shipwrecked. Because I look through, depending on what cards are just in that deck and the order they come out, you're, you, there is there could be no possible scenario win scenario. It's tough. In, tur in turn yeah. one, yeah, you can die in turn us. one. <laughs> no, and I look through the deck and yeah. like that one card we got mm -hmm. doomed us. Right. Where there was no way we could handle that disease. Right. So I th like for me, it's my problem with the scenario is. Five really was too random. Three wasn't like it has a lot of issues, but you can deal with it. Well, I think it's almost, it's almost the opposite. Maybe I mean, I mean it's that it's not that it's too random. It's that you, like you said about four, you need to have that well, perfect no, yeah. strategy. Four, no, that was with four. You don't think that's true for five? No, like I said, five because you start with such 
b uh, right. bad things. Mm -hmm. And uh, that again hurts you by it, having more people yeah, too. Yeah, that it just because of the event deck can just game over. You can get diseases. You can be game over before you really start. And th well, theoretically, having more players should, like the reason it hurts you more is because having more people is more helpful. But it seemed like in our experience, the trade-off was not equal. Even. And I guess my, my problem is, because like, other Robinson Crusoe expansions, they can be difficult, mm. but I feel there's some wiggle room to adjust your strategy. Like the boat, we adjusted our strategy three times. Right, right. In, in the first scenario and second, when bad things happen, we learned to roll with the punches. I do think, I think it's really interesting the way that we're talking about this because we played it as a campaign. It's we really are right. We haven't played as a single right. Whereas and in one sitting too right. Think about so we were exhausted. Even, by that. Yeah, and even discounting that in the base, like maybe there's a bad scenario we don't like, but we just don't. We're like, well, let's just not play that one. There's like four other ones we do like. So it's we're really focusing more on those when I think you know it's still overall they in a normal setting they probably wouldn't be as bad. Right, but in the end, I still have to. Yeah, no, that's it, it's fair. a campaign. Yeah, no, it's no, no. built to be designed sure. all the way. Sure, you could play them separately, and like I said, certain ones make sense. Like four, four can easily no quite that shouldn't be played separately. And the the reason that I and that yeah. one I would actually wouldn't mind playing separately again. Yeah, like though I had my issues with it, I want to try to beat it. Like that's the thing, I right. want to find it. Right, five didn't feel that way to me. Five felt like. We didn't even do anything to lose yet. The reason that I give them a little, I, I'm kind of okay with it is because I see this as sort of the, you buy this if you've played Robinson Crusoe a lot, which is already a pretty challenging game. Well, actually, game. I'd be a little disappointed if you bought this without playing <laughs> yes. the base because the base is fantastic. And you really, it's meant for like experienced players who want to dive in, and and maybe for some people. Uh, you know, like with a lot of co-op games, would be disappointed if they were able to beat everything on the first try. I think part of it is meant well, to no, be. Well, no, that, that's why keep going I, back. I think to me that's why I'm not as dis really as disappointed in four. Hmm. Like I want to go back to it and beat it, and I think that was a that's good. That's funny because I feel like four. I, you looked at the cards, but to me, I feel like four is the one that really was like tough, and five felt like we just had bad luck and we were tired but, and didn't want to well, do it again. To me, that's the issue. To me, four was tough. But I could see that there would be a path. Like, after we played it, like, we got so close hmm. that I'm like, okay, I think I can see how, like, I can see pieces there. Well, anyway, let's... With, and my problem with five is the yeah. fact that that could happen. That's so random. Let's get off the difficulty. Yes. Let's, in terms of other, like, actual gameplay elements, what about, um, real quick, uh, the fact that Darwin is kind of like an NPC is pretty cool. Right. I it's really that's, cool. That's neat. Um, I think it's... The ship... Like having your ship and the board and collecting your species and well, stuff. Well, what very I really different. liked about it, because I realized this in the uh, really in the first scenario, sort of, mm. that um, luckily we got healed with a lot, but no way we were taking damage, because how we play Robert Crusoe as one-time events, you know, when it comes to near the end, we sort of shoot the moon. Right, right, right. It's like this game's over, so it's okay if you lose this and you lose that. Right. And this one, and this one I know, because I noticed in the first one, and I didn't know we were going to be healed each round, so I'm like, right. Darwin and I are going pretty <laughs> low. We're, we're pushing the limits here, folks. Right. <laughs> and I think that's good, though, because I think that makes it really interesting and different, which is why I love scenario one, scenario two, scenario, like, even four, to, and my pro, like, if five wasn't so weird, I would have loved this, because it's sort of much more like, I you have to think. I think, though, if we, like, went back at it and, you know really put our all into it and like and and did some more research i think you would grow to at least accept five i that's think that's pop yeah. i know i agree like i have issues with it but i think it could most likely yeah. be acceptable like and personally i really want to try soloing no this. that's why i i really am curious partially now. because it'll be easier hopefully <laughs> no well i just want to know your opinion because we're going oh. the two out spent you you you've played four and then playing one, you've you, you've That'll seen both yeah. ends of the spectrum. So overall, I mean, if you if you love Robinson Crusoe, I definitely think this is worth playing. It's worth recommending. Um, it's as a campaign game. It's very it's very different from from the base game, but still has those that similar core elements to it that make it what it is. Uh, it's definitely a challenge, so you got to be prepared for that. But 
Yeah, and like we said, we did it with four people, uh, and so all of our experiences comes with four. Right. Uh, hopefully, we'll get a chance to try with one. Having both of us have done the bass solo, right? And that's always that's really fun. So I think this will be probably the same way. What's nice is it's not just a we added a little bit more to Robinson Crusoe. You're getting like another. Yes, it's a very it's it does something very few expansions do, which is really feels like a whole new experience added on to it. Right, and I'm also very curious now what the new Cthulhu Robinson Crusoe expansion coming out will yes, be like. Which we've heard about. If that will also have a campaign or not. <laughs> I hope so. So this is Robinson Crusoe Voyage of the Beagle. Uh, we have it for sale right now on our website, rollforcrit.com. And later, hopefully soon, there we'll have the brand new Game of the Year edition of Robinson Crusoe, as well as possibly the older edition for sale that you will need to play this game. Um, so you can check that out as well as we have lots more videos, more reviews, more expansion talk, more podcasts, news. Um, or you can let us know how you think the game plays. Right, especially if you've played it before with maybe a different amount of people. We'd be definitely very curious to see uh, how your that changed your experiences. Yeah. Uh, you can leave us a comment right, right here on YouTube. And of course, you can actually watch us play it. <laughs> that stream, true. that video is up as well. We'll we link down below. A whole live stream playing it. So you can watch us play it for like 10 hours if you really want to. <laughs> you, can, you can even watch me setting it up for half an hour in between every play. <laughs> Otherwise, uh, until next time, I'm Jonathan Estes. I'm Will Keeler, and this has been Roll for Crit Expansion.